Holy and happy is this sacred hour when two devoted hearts are bound by enchanting ties of matrimony. precious evidence of purity of heart and contentment of mind for all their future are made for sure when the contracting parties enter this glad time. Clad in the comely garb robe of reverence, humility and faith, that they may be blessed of our Heavenly Father, maker of all of all of us, who has ordained marriage as the cornerstone of family life and guarantee of honorable human society. Who giveth this bride away? Her mother and I. <laughs> Clark, in my hand, I have a receipt. <laughs> it's from David and Kim Everett. It's paid in full from your love for Amy. It also has no exchange and no return. <laughs> We love you. Amy and Mark. Baby, your cell phone apps have hit zero on the countdown days. And this day is finally here. You two have long waited for. After all the planning, organization, gathering of all the items, and spending most of our money, this day has finally come. It may have seemed like it would not have ever happened, but it is here. All of your families and friends have gathered here together to help celebrate this wonderful day along with you too. I congratulate you both for taking this step of love you have for each other. Amy, aren't you glad you finally texted Mark? Mark, aren't you glad you said yes and asked her out on your first date well over a year ago? Amy, Daddy knows you have always dreamed about this day. I also knew this day would come when I would get to walk my beautiful daughter down the aisle and give her to the prince of her dreams. Mark, I also know you have long waited for the young lady of your dreams to walk down the aisle and look and see her dressed in her wedding dress and get the opportunity to say, I do. Inasmuch as this man and this woman have in the presence of God and the witnesses consented together to be joined in the lawful bonds of matrimony, they too have given and pledged their troth each to the other and have declared the same by giving and receiving of rings, I now, according to the ordinances of God and the laws of the state of Texas, pronounce them husband and wife. What therefore God has joined together, let not man put asunder. Mark, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost abide with you forever and ever. Amen. It gives me great pleasure to introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Mark Poole.